Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to our very special book reading session tonight. And this is a little bit different in that the book that I'm going to be reading from is actually not yet available. It will be available for purchase very soon. And also the copy that you will be receiving is slightly different than what I'm going to show you tonight. And so the illustrations will be the same. The text will be the same. It's just the placement of the text will be slightly different. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure that I told you guys that. So when you received your very own copy, you don't say, wait a minute, that does not look like the book that Florenza read. It is going to be slightly different. What I wanted to do was to have an opportunity to read this story to you. And I sort of just did a little quick book designing on my own. The actual designer is still working with the book. And so it's going to be slightly different. Same story, same illustrations, just formatted differently. So I hope that you enjoy. I want to. Um, so this is the cover. OK, it says when life gives us wind. And I really want to show you some of the pictures in there. So this will be where you boys and girls will write your own name. See, this book belongs to you. So that makes it personal. It will be your very own book. I do want to read to you the um, dedication just because I think it's so phenomenal. It says, oh, everyone, you know, I do not need these to read, right? So, hi, I see your faces. It says, I want to thank Jessica and Missy, my loudest cheerleaders and my greatest joy, and to Papa Bear, who is my hero. I also dedicate this book to the small heroes who remain at home while their moms and dads deploy to faraway places in the name of honor, courage, freedom, and liberty. May you never forget how loved, missed, and respected you are. Although you have never deployed, you are just as brave. And so children, sometimes when your parents go away, it's hard to forget that you are a hero too. For you staying home and doing what you're supposed to do and being obedient when um, your parent is away and still focusing on your lessons and doing your chores. So I wanted to give a special dedication to you all because you're little heroes. And Miss Latte, there she is. She did the illustrations. She dedicated the book as well. She says, to all the military babies like me. Latte Harris has been an artist all her life, starting with traditional art during early childhood and expanding her craft throughout her years from drawing and painting to digital art and tattooing. She is mostly self-taught and continues to increase her skill level with every new creation, taking inspiration from her peers and the world around her. Now, this is for the parents. If you are looking for a phenomenal tattoo artist, please look up Miss Latte Harris and in the book. And we'll also post to here are ways that you may reach her. So there's the cover again. OK, and we're going to get started. And we're going to cheat just a little bit. There you go, because I want you guys to see this. Hi, my name is Zia Mara. Mom calls me Mars. It's just mom and me. My mom wears a uniform and combat boots. She is in the military. I am very proud of her. She defends our country. Please type in if you are in the military or if you were in the military and maybe your mom or dad was in the military, please tell us which branch and um, their name so we can say hello. Who knows where that is? Right there. Type that in, boys and girls, if you know where that might be. 
It says, I love when my mom receives orders. We have moved eight times. I like meeting new friends, eating different foods, and learning new languages. That's Japan, right? Yes. I learned that hello in German is guten tag. Thank you in Hawaiian is mahalo. Please in Spanish is por favor. Goodbye in French is au revoir. Boys and girls, do you know another language? If so, tell us a word that you might know. Do you? Type that in for us, okay? Moving can be scary, but also a lot of fun. Mom says we have to make the best of every situation life gives us. She says very few people experience all that we have. We are very fortunate. See there? Look. Have you ever had to move? As a child, I moved a lot. Boys and girls, I went to a different school every year except for 11th and 12th grade. So I went to a lot of schools. Did you go to different schools? Was that scary? Tell me about that. When I'm nervous, mom says, let me get that right. Look at there. When I'm nervous, mom says, Mars, when life gives us wind, we have two options. We may complain, I respond, or fly kites. She says it doesn't matter where we live. As long as we are together, we have all that we will need. Uh-oh. One day, mom picks me up from school. She isn't smiling as much as usual. She looks very serious. I ask if everything is okay. Everything is just fine, she replies, as we drive home. Boys and girls, what do you think? Do you think everything is fine? Let me know. Once we're inside and put away our things, I help prepare dinner. As we eat, I ask about her day. Mars, I need to talk to you about something important. Ooh. What happens when sometimes when your mom is talking to you about something important? Does it make your tummy itch or wiggle? Mm -hmm. I bite. I am a bit worried. I bite my bottom lip. My heart beats a little faster and tears began to sting my eyes. Mom reaches over and holds my hand, then pats her leg for me to come sit on her lap. She tells me she has received orders. Yay! Oh, look at there. She's not nervous anymore. Orders, I sing. We're moving? Where? When? How long before the movers come? I love moving. Mars. Oh, let me get that straight. Mars, you will not be able to go with me this time. I don't think I heard mom correctly. I'm so confused. Have We have never been apart, not ever. Did you say I cannot go with you, I stammer? Wow. What do you think, boys and girls? She says she's moved eight times. Shouldn't she be leaving the ninth time? We'll find out. Mom explains that deployments are when service members relocate to faraway places. Families are not allowed to go. If I cannot go with you, where will I live? She says, I will go stay with Grandma and Poppy. I've not lived seeing them since I was very small. Uh oh, look at there. Is that a happy or a sad look, boys and girls? Look at there. Mm. I have never stayed with my grandparents by myself. What if I do not like living with them? What if they don't like me being there? Ooh, those are good questions. Mom assures me that it won't be forever. Before you know it, 
I will be back home. When life gives us wind, she begins to say. I open my mouth to respond, but the words will not come out. Inside, I am screaming, we complain, mommy, we complain. What do you think you would be saying if your mommy told you that you are going to be staying with someone that you haven't seen, even if they're family and you haven't seen them for a very long time? Boy, I think inside I would be complaining, too. Yeah. We spend the next few weeks discussing ways we will remain in touch. Mom shows me on the computer where she will be stationed. It looks far away. She tells me again that everything will be just fine. Look at there. The time arrives for us to travel to my grandparents. We pack my clothes, toys, and books. As we ride to the airport, she tells me all about her childhood. She smiles as she talks. I love seeing my mom smile. She has the best laugh ever. Does your mommy or daddy or, or the adult who takes care of you, do they have a great smile? Yes. What about their laugh? People tell me they really like my laugh. I laugh a lot, boys and girls, a whole lot. I really do. What is that there on? Can you tell? It has been a very long time since I saw my grandparents. I am very nervous. As we board the plane, mommy tells me again about when she was young like me and all the fun times she had with grandma and grandpa as a child. The flight is long. We talk the whole way there. What do you think are some of the things that they talked about? When she was little, maybe when she was in school or her friends, or what was it like staying in her room? Those are some of the questions I would have. I wanna make sure you can see this. Grandma and Poppy are waiting for us when we arrive. They are so happy to see us. Grandma has baked chocolate chip cookies. They are my favorite. Smelling them makes me forget about being nervous. What kind of cookies do you like, boys and girls? Do you like chocolate chip cookies? What about peanut butter cookies? Mmm. Or oatmeal raisin? Yes, I do. But no. I don't like sweets, but they sound delicious. Can you see those? Poppy takes my thing up to mom's old room. Around their house are pictures of her when she was little. Some pictures are hard to tell if they are of mom or me. I want you guys to see some of those pictures. Yes. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I went away. Someone bumped me with the text or something. We're sorry about that. Some are hard to tell if they are of mom or me. I wanted to read that one again, just in case. Later, put that right there. Later, mom gets... Mom helps me get settled into her old room. She talks about all her neighbor, her childhood memories. She laughs as she tells me the names of her stuffed animals and the people in the pictures on the walls. I giggle when I see them. Boys and girls, have you ever seen pictures of your mom or dad when way back in the day when they have funny hairstyles or funny clothes? Don't laugh too hard. Guess what? All of those styles are going to come back. Everything that you like today, we liked when we were little too. It's all coming back in style. There's something that says there's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> Let's show you these. When it's time for mom to leave, I began to cry. She says she loves me and for me to have fun. We all give her hugs and kisses. After supper, grandma shows me more pictures of mom growing up. Some are funny. Others are beautiful. It all are of my mom. When it's time for bed, they come into the room to say good night. Poppy sees my book and asks, Mars, this was your mom's favorite book. May I read it with you before you go to sleep? I say yes right away. 
boys and girls, we're going to show you a little secret. Look at what Mars's favorite book is. Can you recognize that book right there? Yep. That's my book, The Tale of Max the Mindless Dog. Shh. That's a shameless plug right there, boys and girls. <laughs> Let's see. Poppy uses funny voices as he reads. He knows all the parts by heart. Grandma and I giggle as he reads. This is one of my favorite pictures. After he reads the book, Poppy says he is happy I am staying with them. Grandma says she is very happy too. Both of them give me a big hug and say good night. Oh, look, boys and girls. Look at what Mars' mommy was making. Can you see that? She was making a volcano. Did you make one of those for your science project? I did. Show you that picture. As they are leaving, I smile and hug Panda. I'm going to miss mommy, but I am also going to love staying with my grandparents. What about you? Have you ever had to stay with someone for a while? And at first you thought it was going to be really scary. And then you found out it's not so bad after all, right? Yes, we can adjust to things. When life gives us wind, I whisper to Panda as they turn off the lights to leave. We may complain, answers grandpa, or fly kites, giggles grandma. <gasps> Boys and girls, is that where that, start, that saying came from? What? I close my eyes and go to sleep. Mom was right. I am going to be just fine. What does that say, boys and girls? The end. Now, boys and girls, I want to read a special part to you in the very back of the book, okay? And I want to show you that picture right there as I read. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There you go. That's of my papa bear when he came back from deployment. Let me see if I can straighten that out one more time. There you go. It says, Florence is an author of interactive, engaging books that build social emotional learning. She's a publisher, narr narrative coach, speaker, radio talk show host, children's mindfulness coach, master storyteller, veterans advocate, wife, and mother. Florence and her husband, Command Sergeant Major, retired U.S. Army. Trefus Lee have been married for nearly 38 years and reside in Hampton, Virginia. Their daughters, Jessica and Melissa, call Las Vegas, Nevada and Hampton, Virginia home. And just a little bit about Ziamara. There she is again. OK, it says I want to read this part to you. Zia Mara is very proud of her mom. She is in the military. Mars, as her mom calls her, loves eating new foods, meeting new friends, and learning new languages. Mostly, she loves moving with her mom to new places. So, when her mother announces she has received orders, Mars is elated. She dances her happy dance as she tries to guess where they will move. Mars, you cannot go with me, her mom announces. Mars is so confused. Why can't she go? Where would she live? Mars will soon discover the answers to her questions. But more importantly, she will learn so much more. Boys and girls, I hope that you have enjoyed listening to my story of, we're all tangled up, that when life gives us wind, written by me and illustrated by, I'm oh, sorry, I'm tangled up, by Latte. Harris. And remember, when you get your copy, all the art will look the same and the words will be the same. They're just not going to be in the same um, position in this book. OK, boys and girls. So if you're watching now and you heard me read from the beginning, can you type in what was your favorite part? Oh, don't worry, Miss Carolyn. You can go back and look at the, the replay. Boys and girls, Miss Carolyn Green is a teacher and she's a wonderful teacher. Okay, if you, we have to always support our teachers because they do a lot for us, a whole lot for us. As parents are finding out during this quarantine, parents are 
finding out that it's harder to be in, in a home with children. And just think, your mom and dad and, or auntie or grandma, they're only home with you. Can you imagine a teacher being there with 31 children? Especially if they act like you, study like you, behave like you. Would that be a wonderful classroom or would that be a difficult classroom? That's a really good question. I hope that your answer is it would be a wonderful classroom. That means you're on your best behavior. That means you follow the rules. That means that you're thinking and that you're responding and that you're doing the things that you should do. Okay, boys and girls, do you notice that we are in a different room today? Can you see around me? This is Papa Bear's office and it has, it's a little junky right now. I would show you everything. I'm gonna try to just go around enough. It has some of the things on the wall from when he was in the army. He was in, Mr. Um, Lee was in the army 31 years and we moved a lot of places. And so my daughters know what it's like to be just like Ziamara and move to a lot of places. Yes, they do. So go to my website, florenza.org. You may look Miss Latte up and we'll make sure that we type in all of her information. As a matter of fact, did I see Miss Latte in? Let's see if she's still with you, with us. Hold on, boys and girls. We may have a special surprise for you. Let's see if we can bring her on with us. Let's see if we can add her in. We'll see if this, oh, Mrs. Tay is not able to come on with us. But boys and girls, I will be certain to have her to come back on with us when we read the book again. Maybe we'll read it Monday since so many people missed it today. And we'll have Miss Latte come in and talk to us about how she drew these beautiful pictures. All right, boys and girls, have a good afternoon. Happy reading. Bye bye.